Or to say, hey guys, it's Klaus. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah, I'm in a good mood today, guys. I'm in a good mood today. Because I got the good news. I got the good news. You have got the good news, too. So you'll be happy to know that you are stuck with me for at least another year. Because um, I passed with flying colors my physical. And I went and had my physical. You know, at, the at the doctor. Checked me out. Did it all. You know, the complete uh, thing there. And uh, apparently I'm uh, like a limber spring chicken. Just uh, I'm, I'm a young man in an old man's body. Just, uh, you know, everything's copacetic A-OK. -okay. I forgot to introduce this guy. Blackout 8 from the Aus clan. Aus! Shout out to you guys. And his object, 705A. Hey, Pretty good news, eh? Yeah, so... Uh, no, there's nothing wrong with it. I, I went and got the blood work done uh, like a month ago or two weeks ago or something. And then so the doctor has it when you arrive. And uh, do you guys... Okay, okay. Do you do this? Uh, it's called the fit test. I have to do... I went to get... They give you give you the sheet. You go to the doctor and they, you book a physical and they give you the sheet. They go get all these things done and then... You come for your appointment, go get the blood work done like a couple of weeks before so he has the, the info. Like, okay, so you, you go to the, one of those clinics where they do the blood tests and stuff and they, they took some blood. Which I never like giving it because, I, I speaking of blackout, I'm one of those guys, I know, pussy, oh blood, you know, I get a little queasy. I was, uh, when I was in school, uh, they had a, a give blood day. And so we all say, hey, let's go give blood, because it's a good thing to do, to donate blood in case people need it, to have accidents. So I went, and uh, the first time, very first time I, I gave blood, they insert the thing, and uh, the nurse says, she puts this little rubber band around your arm, and she inserts the needle, and she says, just squeeze your hand, open and close your hand, and I'm, oh, okay, I'm squeezing my hand, like making a fist. And as I'm squeezing, I see the... The blood surge out into this bag. <laughs> I just... Holy shit! Right? <laughs> it just affected me. Next thing I know... Uh, this is at school, in university. <laughs> Next thing I know, I'm... <laughs> they've got me in semi-prone position, and they've got these towels that they're waving at me. One nurse is waving a towel at me. The other one's got her hand on my shoulder. And another one standing there with some uh, chocolate chip cookies going, sir, would you like a cookie? Maybe you, you need to have something with sugar. Long story short, I don't give blood anymore. They put me on the uh, not suitable list. Like this video is probably not suitable for advertising. I was not suitable <laughs> to give blood anymore. So anyways, I gave my blood. Went to the blood test. But they surprised me after they, and it was fine. I, I'm okay with just a little blood test. Is, I was fine. Like a man. I took it like a man. But the nurse says, well, you've got, um, you've got to do this fit test. And she hands me this little pouch with the little tube thing in there and some instructions. And she says, uh, you know, you can read the instruction or I can explain it to you. And I go, oh, explain it to me. What, what do I have to do? And she says, well, uh, it's a fit test, so you need to collect a sample of your feces. I go, what? You need, you need to collect a sample of your feces and... Uh, Slow down. I have to collect a sample of my feces? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, why do I have to collect the sample of my... Because we want to examine your feces. Because it's a test we do. You know, to see that your colon is... I don't know why the fuck they want a sample of your feces, but they wanted it. And so we... <laughs> I said, okay, give me this thing. Do I, got, like, do I go in this room? She goes, no, 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 no. You go home. And you collect the sample, you put it in this tube, you seal it, and then you bring it back and drop it off in this little bag. And you, you know, you've got all your info in there. You have to record the time and everything that you did the test. So I, okay, I, like I get out of there, right? I go home and I open this thing. And it's got pictures and instructions. <laughs> and they want a sample of your feces uncontaminated by uh, toilet bowl water. <laughs> so they explain how to do it. They... And they've got picture diagrams. They say, lay the newspapers down on the, on the floor of your bathroom. And then when you have the urge, you, you squat down and 
they suggest that you that you drop just a portion of <laughs> what would be your maximum load onto the newspapers on the floor. Then stand up <laughs> and take this little, it's like it, you pull this thing out of a tube and it's a little scrape a little bit of the feces on the, and then replace the tube or the thing into the tube and seal it. And then they've got the picture diagram that you pick up the newspaper and plop the stuff into your bowl, flush, wash your hands, and finish your business. <laughs> I didn't do it exactly like that, but I managed to get a sample on there. <laughs> and I brought it in. And I thought I'd share that with you guys, because why the fuck not? So I had that, that they examined that, and apparently I have excellent feces. Is what the doctor told me because he you know he got the results and my blood work I got excellent that I've got my my uh, uh, blood pressure was 94 over 63 calculated three times and averaged holy shit I'm a motherfucking athlete apparently <laughs> so and, and I do when I stand up quickly I get dizzy I'm one of those low blood pressure guys that's why I have to pump my fist she wanted me to pump my fist because it wouldn't come out when I was giving... Anyways, anyways, so... Uh, it's weird when you have your physical... You check, they have the computer now, all the information in the blood, then the risk factors, and they all pop up. And I was low on everything. I'm good. That's why you're stuck with me for another year. I'm fine. But I, apparently I have to go back every year to get a physical so that they can create some sort of a... Um, uh, a timeline. and Because uh, just one result is no good. They've got to, you know, have some history. And I've avoided doctors for a long time and it's about time I start going every year so you know you go in there they he open your mouth say uh, uh, I don't know they look in your ears they look in your eyes they put the stethoscope on and I'm just casually having a conversation with my doctor as he's doing all this you know we're kind of kidding around and joking around and talking about uh, I don't know some uh, some sports thing that we, we had watched or some game and yeah you know, just going and uh, I'm sitting there on this uh, thing in my underwear because that's what they do. When you go in the room, the nurse says, the doctor requests that you strip down to your underwear and, and wait. And then you have to wait for like 22 minutes in there in your underwear on that stupid table with the, with the little uh, piece of paper on it, the tissue paper. You're sitting on the tissue paper and your ass is kind of sweating because you're a little nervous because you're going to get a physical. You feel like an idiot sitting there in your underwear. But anyways... <laughs> but he can't. So he's, you know, he looks in my mouth and ears and eyes, and he's got the stethoscope on me. We're just, he's check. As we're talking, <clears throat> he's just checking and nodding, and I'm, it's all having a conversation. It's all good, right? <laughs> then he goes lie down on your back. I'm, okay, and he's checking my, like my belly. He's listening and probing and stuff, and I, I don't know. That's what they do, right? And we're just casually having a conversation still. Everything's just. Uh, talking about the game or whatever and just very casually he's kind of <laughs> dips his hands into my underwear and starts pulling them off and I go whoa <laughs> okay well you know he's just probing at my the abdomen and stuff I guess checking that the organs are in the right place or whatever the, he goes oh you can sit up now and he's got he's worse like looking at each other 20 inches face to face you know talking and just can't and then slowly his hands grab my balls <laughs> he's feeling my balls right he's got his hand on my my cock and he's feeling my balls and it's just we're just talking yeah he's asking me any uh, problems uh, with erections or uh, you know, ejaculations <laughs> no no problems it's all working despite what you may think now at how uh, flaccidly it's dangling there in your in your hands uh, it is very functional <laughs> and we're just laughing it's ridiculous it's absolutely ridiculous like i guess i don't he's got i forgot to mention he put the, the rubber gloves on right and then he takes those gloves off and he goes and uh, writes a few things down and we're just casually talking again and i notice he's, he's taking the clear gloves off the little plastic and he's putting like the more opaque white ones on like, well, why would you have to change your, like, what, what, why would you do that? And he says, could you lie on, just lie down on your side now and face the, 
like an in semi pro no 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 just uh, on your side and pull your legs up towards your stomach like in fetal position okay and I just as I'm lying down on my side he, I hear the glove snap he's got the, you know the elastic snap he's got him on and uh, we're just yeah uh, uh, what about when uh, you know he's, he, that guy came around the, the corner and he was taking that shot we're just still casually there. and then I feel the cold uh, glove hand on kind of like my my hip <laughs> and I'm pacing away so I'm just gonna check your prostate here and I <laughs> it is the most well for me anyway it's, it's the the most uncomfortable fucking thing that that so the guy has to stick his finger up your ass and feel around there uh, feel your prostate Right, that's it's the pros the rectal exam, because they're feeling for bumps and shit, and apparently I don't have any, <laughs> but he couldn't. <laughs> but he says I couldn't feel all around <laughs> because of your powerful clenching reflex. <laughs> and just as he finished, I roll over and I go, oh, fuck! I hate that. I've just burst out like holy shit, man. I I fucking can't stand that. And he, <laughs> he's disposing of the gloves and looking around. He goes, I've done a lot of rectal exams. And I have to say, son, that you do have one of the most powerful clenching <laughs> reactions. It's very difficult to examine them. I only was able to examine about two thirds of the prostate. <laughs> and I think that's a fucking good thing that my clenching reaction is is powerful because I don't want anything foreign in there is what you know my body's telling me <laughs> but uh, you know he th he did the test and he says yeah it's fine it's, I didn't feel anyways I've passed with flying colors all right he, that's what I'm trying to tell you <laughs> so everything's good I'm gonna be around for a while I'm not gonna you know unexpectedly the videos will just stop because something terrible happened at least as far as we know, <laughs> we didn't do the mental exam. We just did the physical exam. I'd like to clarify that. And everything is good, is, uh, is the verdict. And uh, so I continue to provide you with uh, entertaining commentary on these games that we watch together here. Uh, <clears throat> right? We're, we're, for another year, we're, at least, because I'm not going to have another gonna be probably another year before I go back tell you another story about it so we get to watch the games and I get to do the commentary um, uh, speaking of which there is a game going on uh, it, what, oh yes here he is oh it's 1-1 one, one. he's doing really well it's almost over he's gonna win because he's in a Russian tank all he has to do is fight a Fosh there he is oh he couldn't pen him oh the game's over Oh, wait a minute. He's in a Russian tank. So let's have the Russian number generator kick in here. Um, the, the Fosh got stuck on the wall and is going to uh, drive aimlessly around. So, uh, well, just, you know, shoot him, light him on fire, and win the game. There you go! Hoo-ha! Well, not great? <laughs> Did you enjoy my story or the game more? Which one was more exciting for you? No, wait, it's not over! Watch, watch, watch! Yeah, he bounced! Mama said Klaus's channel was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. DEFEAT! Blackout 8! Holy shit, guy. I feel sorry for you. Hell of a game. Hell of a game. But, you know, I was a little distracted and... Uh, uh, you know, you, you lost at the end there. You, should, you shouldn't have let him... You shouldn't have let him circle you like that. It, uh, you know, to... It is uh, best if you approach from the rear, uh, but I let you do the decision. 